everyone welcome back to a new video in this video i'm going to be announcing the winners of the model ones giveaway um, but before i do the announcement i just want to show you these powders that they sent me um so there are six and i'm going to swatch them all and then i thought i'd do like a just a quick design over some of them so this is the first one so this is number one <laughs> Um, this one I have got two coats of black gel polish and I'm just applying a non-wipe top coat over the top um, I think they all go over a non-wipe top coat but two of them I put on a tacky layer because I thought they just looked a bit nicer but I do show you them over both so as soon as that top coat comes out the lamp um, the eyeshadow applicators they sent with the pigments which is which is good of them. <laughs> I do love it when they send eyeshadow applicators. Um, so this top coat cures for 30 seconds, but I do slightly under cure it. I cure it for, 30, uh, for 25 seconds. And then I'll use that eyeshadow applicator to rub the pigment into the top coat as soon as it's come out the lamp. Um, wipe off any excess pigment and then top coat again just to seal the, the color in. And this is number two. Um, this one, I wasn't sure about this one if I'm completely honest. Um, so I've gone in with two coats of white gel polish. Um, I'm now top coating and I'm going to pop that in the lamp to cure. And then I've got my eyeshadow applicator again. And as soon as it comes out, I'm going to rub that pigment in. This one just looked a little bit grainy. I don't know if maybe I had undercured the top coat too much maybe it just needed a couple more seconds but it didn't I don't know I thought this was going to be like a, a mirror chrome kind of thing but it didn't I don't know it just didn't what do you think it doesn't look what I thought it would look like basically can you see what I mean I think maybe I undercured the top coat, but I'm not sure. So we're going to come back to that one anyway. This is number three. So I put this one over a tacky layer and over a non-wipe top coat. I can't remember which I've done first. I can't remember if this is the tacky layer. I think this might be the tacky layer. And then I'm going to brush off any excess pigment and then I will top coat. Yep, I think this is the tacky layer, this one. Um, it looks, though, it does look a lot nicer on non-wipe top coat. The hollow comes out a lot more. You'll see in a minute, you'll see. I kind of wanted to show you in as many different ways as I could. So that's, the, that's on the tacky layer. And then this is the... This is the, on the non-wipe top coat. Yeah, this is definitely the non-wipe top coat because I'm rubbing it in a bit harder. I'm going to show you them side by side as well. You can already see there, it just looks more hollow. So I'm going to wipe off the excess with my soft brush. Don't use a hard brush, use a soft brush because if you... If your hard brush... I don't know, sometimes it takes a bit of the pigment off and you'll have like scratches through it. So can you see, it looks a lot better on the left one, which is on the non-wipe top coat. But I just wanted to show you them to see what they both look like. Number four and number five, these are the <laughs> ones that I thought looked nicer on a tacky layer, but I'm gonna show you them on, um, on a non-wipe top as well. So I'm gonna do these over black. Um, they're just, they're like, um, they're almost like a chameleon. It they oh, it's it's difficult to see on the camera, but this one is a dark blue to purple shift. I'm just gonna top coat it in. Top coat it in. I'm gonna seal the seal the colour in with a top coat. Um so can you see it's like got like a dark blue to purple shift? This is a really pretty one. And then this was it over non-wipe top coat. So you can see you get more of um like in the where the light hits is where you see that shift. 
and then this is number five so this is the same kind of thing only this is more of a turquoisey blue to a different like to a darker blue or is it to a purple I don't know but this is just a kind of it's very similar to the last one it's just a lighter kind of blue it's almost like a, just like a slightly different shade so that's that one I think these are really pretty and then I'm going to show you this over a non-wipe top coat as well so oh hang on right so these are them on the tacky layer so you can see the one on the left is slightly darker which is number four and number five is a slightly different shade and then this is them on the non-wipe top coats. So you can see it's only really where the light hits that you see that colour shift. Ish. See what I mean? And then the one on the right, which is number five, is, is slightly lighter again. And uh, number six, I wasn't sure what this was initially. There wasn't much in it. And I thought, oh, that's a bit tight. Because I just thought, right, you have to... You, I'm going to put this on a top coat. But... Um, I thought it was very similar to number one and in number one you get a bit more in the pot but turns out this one it's got a sneaky surprise in it so as soon as that comes out the lamp rub it in it looks like again it looks like a kind of chameleon it's got like a color shift it's sort of like a oh it's almost like a brownie gold to purple it's difficult to describe because I'm not very good at describing colors but when you top coat it in a minute can you I don't know if you can see it very well but it's got it's got like a hollow it's hollow as well it's hollow I don't know if you can see it which is probably why there's not much in the pot because when things are hollow you get you get less of the powder in the pot can you see it can you see it it's difficult but I think you might be able to see it but it was really pretty that one so those are the powders. Right, this first one I decided to put some leaves on. So I'm just going to I'm going to speed this bit up a little bit because um I'm not this is not really a tutorial. This is just a I just wanted to put a quick design over the top of some of them. So this one I'm just going to add some gold leaves. Okay, so that's done. I'm going to pop that into the lamp now to cure. And then this one I decided I was just going to do some swirls. Now, I'm not very good at swirls, but I've done this in black because I thought the black would look nicer over this than a white. So i um, just going to pop a few swirls on this one. Okay, so that is that one done. And then this one, I thought I would put some, I don't know, some circles on. I thought we'd do like a, I don't know, like a bubble. Not bubbles, but bubbles. But anyway, I'm going to put some circles on this. And I'm going to kind of overlap some. And I'm going to make them different sizes. So I'm just going to finish applying the circles on this one. Okay, so I'm going to leave that one like that and cure these in the lamp. And then I've decided that with the with this one and the one with the gold leaves on, I am going to go over them with matte top coat to see what they look like. I kind of like anything that's shiny, um, like chromey looking. And if you matte top coat them, you get like a brushed metal look, I think. <laughs> and then this one with the um, hollow chrome, whatever it is on it, I'm just going to wipe off the tacky layer off that black um, and just leave that shiny. See, so these look like, um, 
you know, do you know what I mean? They look like a brushed metal look now. I like actually like those like that. Um, so yeah, so these are all the powders. You can get 10% off by using code Natalie Natalie Double Zero. Sorry. Um, so in a minute oh here we go here we're going to announce the winners if the winners could message me on instagram or facebook or whatever um then i will send your addresses over to model ones and then they will send you out the prizes so good luck everyone and i will see you in tomorrow's video